Hello everybody, Toastbomb here, and today we are going to be talking about throwing weapons off the map. And not just any weapons, but power weapons. Now you might be thinking, Toastbomb, you are out of your mind. Why would you ever do that? Why would you ever throw a power weapon off the map? Power weapons are so awesome and they're so fun to use. Well, you only do it in very certain situations where you know you are going to die. So let's take a look at an example of one of those situations right now. So this is taken from the gameplay that I had in yesterday's video. And you notice I'm running towards this guy. Oh, and I'm one shot. So I go and I take the sniper and I jump off the map. I also was holding the railgun, so I was trying to as switching my weapon to the sniper like throw the railgun off also although it stayed on the edge but you can see I knew I was gonna die I didn't want that guy getting the sniper or the railgun so I tried to get both of them off the map because I know I'm gonna die and then he's gonna get it and then he's gonna get more kills with those weapons and then that's gonna increase his chances of winning so I might as well just take those things out of play completely and throw them off the map now this doesn't happen as often in FFAs, but in team games this happens all the time. If you're going for rockets and maybe rockets is near an edge and you pick up rockets are really and it's a really bad situation and you're like, okay, I'm gonna die, you just jump off the map as you're jumping off, try to kill that guy and then die and get those things out of play so you don't get them into the enemy's hands because power weapons are powerful and they can completely turn the tide of the game entirely and then all of a sudden the other teams in the lead or increasing their lead even more by a large margin now i know doing this might be really really difficult for some of you out there you like using the sniper you like using the rockets and even if it means dying you still want to have the opportunity to use them but it's for the better of the team and it's for the better of the game is going to increase your chances of winning greatly because if that other person has the power weapon you're probably not going to get it back and they're going to get a lot of kills with it so even though it might be painful throwing that awesome weapon off the map and seeing it fall down into a pit of nothing it is definitely worth it in the end another example of where this could definitely be a possibility of this situation coming up a lot would be on Haven because at least in the throwdown settings Haven the sniper spawns at open side at bottom of the ramp on open side and that's right next to an edge so if you pick up that sniper and you're getting pressured a lot your teammates aren't around and that sniper is a hundred percent or like ninety percent gonna go to the other team you should probably just jump off if you know you're gonna die and then get that thing out of the play so it won't get into the enemy's hands. And this also applies to not only picking up fresh weapons, but also if you just have a weapon, you're running around with a power weapon, and you're near an edge, and you're gonna die, you should probably throw it off. Now, there's another sort of similar thing to throwing off a weapon or wasting a weapon, but it's not you're not actually physically throwing it off, you're just wasting the ammo. And that is if you, say, pick up a sniper side on the enemy's team if there's a map where the sniper spawns at the enemy's base like the pit is coming out very soon for halo 4 now in halo 3 on the pit the sniper spawned bottom sniper near that f big giant fence area that's where the sniper spawned so if you picked up an enemy one and you knew your chances of being able to get away are probably not very great you could just sit behind a corner and like while they're trying to charge after you and waste and dump as many of the sniper shots as you possibly could because on that map there was no way to actually throw it off the map so you had to just do that if you were in the correct opportunity to do so you just dump out as many shots at a wall so they would have less ammo to use once you actually ended up dying so that's another form of that without actually ju like jumping off with it and throwing it off the map but it's still sort of the same concept and does effectively the same thing. So again, it might be really difficult for you to do this. I know you don't like seeing that thing fall into a pit or waste the ammo because it's so beautiful and fun to use, but you gotta remember that if the enemy gets it, it's way less fun to have it used on you than it is to drop it off of the map. So anyways, that is a nice 
quick little tip for you people out there. If you haven't done that or haven't thought of doing that or anything, you should totally pick that up and start doing it because it'll definitely help you guys out a whole bunch in Halo. So anyways, that'll be it for this one. If you liked it, you can leave a like or a comment or you can subscribe because I post new Halo videos every day. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.